In my work as a business consultant to family-owned businesses and to leaders um, in the business community, what I've noticed is when they think about their future, they focus on the financial aspects, succession planning, continuance planning, um, perhaps a buy-sell agreement, but just as significant are the non-financial issues about the future. And one of the focuses I like to work with leaders on is what's the impact they're going to have on the next generation in their business and how can they communicate their values and their mission and what got them to where they are and can sustain next generations. Um, and I think it's a conversation that's very critical for them to have with the next generation. The way that they can have that conversation is through several different opportunities and one of the suggestions I have is to write what's called an ethical will. Well, that's not a legal document, it's an opportunity to really share their history, um, what's important to them, what they'd like the next generation to consider in terms of their values and mission as the uh, company continues. It's a really important opportunity to have that conversation about the details of the past that many um, of the younger people that might be working with them don't have in context. And it's a powerful opportunity to leave themselves behind when they're no longer physically there. Um, to guide the company and it's a way to um, make sure that they are giving those guidelines to the next generation. Well the first thing I have people do is actually write it down. Um, they can write it in a letter. Um, they can tell their story. I have had people actually have books written about them. Um, again, what's important is to give context and history to who they are, how they got there, what shaped them, what's important to them, um, and to tell the details of their life. Um, because it's one thing when you're no longer around that can really have an impact on the next generation, whether they're um, the workers in your company or happen to be family members. Then once you've written it down, um, decide your medium, then it's about sharing it um, with your company and having them understand the story. And you can do that in a formal way, um, having a meeting and actually reading the letter and having a conversation. It can be distributed. And again, how detailed and involved you want to get is up to the individual, but the powerful aspect of this is actually writing down what you want your next generation to know, what matters to you, um, what are the things that have shaped your life, what are the things that you want them to think about when you're not there and to guide them as they move forward? And it is about the details and the stories. That's what enriches something, um, a document like this. Um, and particularly when a family-owned business can be very, very powerful to understand the history.